Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis, and I found a consistent way to work with icons in all my web projects, and I do it using Figma. There's a link to the video below that walks through that process. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take that system and apply it to an Astro project. Let's take a look at the code. Okay, to get started, let's make a place where we're going to put this icon code. So in our source directory, I'm going to add a new directory called components. And in there, I'm going to add another directory called icon. This is where we're going to put those icons. And for now, let's create a new placeholder file in the components directory, not in the icon directory, called icon. And this is going to be our main controller component for icons. And you'll, you'll see how this works in a moment. And then let's kind of create these other two placeholder components while we're in here. So in this icon directory, create a new file. And we're going to use the examples we created in the icon system video. And so this is going to be checkmark.astro and also delete.astro. Okay, now let's go get our SVG code from Figma. This is the example I had in the icon system video. So I'm going to click in here, copy and paste as SVG. And here, make sure that you have the, if you're following this system, that you have the icon frame selected and not the individual vector file. And then that was the check mark. So let's go over here and we're just going to paste this in directly. Now, the one thing to remember, which I covered at the end of that video is to change fill to current color camel case so that we have some easier control over the styling here. And then back in delete, let's grab our delete icon, copy as SVG, paste in here, change to current color and great. Now I have what I need for these two icon components. And we could see that we could add these directly on a page in Astro if we wanted to. So we could come into our body here, create a new container, and we can import, let's see, import, let's say, check mark from uh, components icon checkmark.astro. And then we can just use checkmark directly. Save that, come back to our browser, and we have the checkmark working immediately. That's great. Now, I've found it a little bit easier to have an abstracted component. What I'd really like to be able to do is to either say something like icon.checkmark and, and just import icon once, or to say icon and pass it a name checkmark like that. And that's not going to work, but that is what our main icon controller component is going to do for us. So I can I import icon from components icon.astro, and eventually this should give us what we want. Right now, this is going to tell us nothing's happening, couldn't import. We imported this file, but there's just nothing there. So let's build that file. Come over to icon.astro, and we're going to import our two icons. So import checkmark from icon check mark dot astro and we'll do the same with delete we're going to use a map using the name prop that we get passed into this component and resolve that to one of these icons that we have imported so to do that let's create an icon map and we'll say check mark is the key for what returns the check mark component up here, and then delete is the key that returns the delete component up here. And then our icon component is what we're going to actually render, and we're going to set that to icon map, and we can say astro.props.name. Now, in practice and in a production site, you're going to want to put more checks in place to make sure that you're using something that's actually going to resolve. And this is where TypeScript can also really come in handy and help you. I'm just doing a very simple approach here. And all we're going to render is simply this icon component. So we just have this dynamic resolution of what we've imported here. So now this should work. And if we go back to the browser, it does. This is amazing. And two more things I want to show you before we leave. One is that because we set current color, we can actually change the color in this div Let's say we gave this a class of, um, I, I, I don't know, icon container. And then down here we have style. And in icon container, if we set the color 
to say red, it then changes our icon color to red. So the icon is going to inherit the color of the closest ancestor that has a color value set. The last thing I want to show you is that there is one opportunity to dry up your code even further. Notice that the SVG wrapper in delete and checkmark is exactly the same. And this is because we built this very consistent system in Figma. Now, if you can stay consistent and rigid with that system, you can remove this wrapper and abstract it up the chain to this controller component and then keep your icon code even slimmer. So if we copy this and we remove the wrapper, we simplify the checkmark component. We can do the same with delete. And then what we would do here is simply wrap our icon component in this SVG tag. And if we do that, we see it still works. We can come back to our home page here and maybe we change this to blue. And maybe we also make sure that delete works as well. Do that. Look at that. We have two icons. So that's a super simple example, but it builds the foundation for this truly scalable icon system that you can build and work with in Astro. Check the description below for the precursor video that explains the icon system. There's also a link in the description to a playground where you can mess around with this code without having to spin up an Astro site. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. I'm Sean C. Davis, and I'll see you next time.